Well, folks, here again for the weekly forecast during this last week. Once again, we dealt with that good old four-letter word, rain, too much of it. And, of course, we've seen the heaviest totals coming out of the southwestern part of the state. And, of course, the panhandle with lesser totals coming out of north, central, and northeastern Nebraska. But everybody did receive precipitation during this last week. To kind of put this wet spell into context, particularly as you move south of Nebraska, there's many locations of south central Oklahoma up through north central Texas that over the last 30 days have received anywhere from 75% to 110% of their annual precipitation, which they would normally expect to receive. So if we wanted to translate that into precipitation totals here in Nebraska, Lincoln has pushed well above their all-time monthly record for, the, for May for precipitation and that's only a little over 12 inches. In context, if we would have the same type of precipitation totals as southern torsions of Oklahoma and Texas, we'd be looking at close to 25 inches of moisture. So as bad as we've had it, our friends to our south have really had a difficult time. Now, we do have this system that has been moving through the, the state uh, over the last couple days, expected to exit out to the east of us, and then we're going to look into some fairly benign conditions for a few days before once atten again our attention turns to a rather aggressive trough working its way into the western United States that should arrive later next week and result in a, a good stretch of three to five days of, once again, heavy precipitation. So let's take a look at the upper models and see what we have in store. First thing I'll draw your attention to is the waning effects of that trough as it moves eastward or weakening. We have ridging and building behind this trough, so we'll see any precipitation departing in eastern Nebraska during the first half of the day and we'll return to cooler than normal conditions. Temperatures will be stuck into the mid 60s to the low 70s across the state. And with a drying trend expected to continue into tomorrow, we'll start to see some warming, particularly during the afternoon hours. And we should jump our uh, uh, temperatures up about five to seven degrees. We're we'll looking at low 70s to upper 70s, warmest temperatures across the western part of the state. Doesn't look like any form of rain in the forecast. If we are going to see anything, it's going to clip extreme northeastern Nebraska. Time we get into Monday, we'll see that ridge firmly implanted over the central and southern plains with a trough approaching from the Pacific Northwest. So we will return to the 80 degree mark across a good portion of the state, more typical of what we would expect this time of the year. No precipitation is forecast. As we get into Tuesday, we start to see the ridge pushing more toward the eastern United States. So some energy will move over top of the western periphery of this ridge, bringing precipitation or scattered precipitation to the panhandle and portions of north central Nebraska. Some of this may move into central Nebraska, but it doesn't look to be a very strong risk. As we go into Wednesday, of course, this trough picks up a little closer distance to the state, so we'd expect the precipitation chances to increase across the western half of the state, lighter across the east as we go into Thursday. Now that we start to see energy pushing out of this trough, and we expect thunderstorms to start developing on a more frequent basis across the state beginning on Thursday, and we will continue that pattern into Fridays. Another piece of energy moves out and more on the way as we go through the weekend, so the 8 to 14 day forecast which takes in this action for this trough, indicates uh, above normal temperature across the eastern United States, near normal conditions across western Nebraska, and then as we get into the precipitation forecast, you can see the stream of moisture moving from the southwest to the north, we sh northeast in response to this trough. Very aggressive precipitation pattern taking place, so the best opportunity to get in the fields and plant will probably be from about Sunday through Wednesday before the precipitation begins in earnest and brings a halt to planting activities.